Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to configure the default landing page when you sign in to your portal or when you click the home button or the icon of your uh, portal, then it will go to the home page, right? So with the redirection of the home page, I want to land on some page, particular page based on the wave role associated to the sign in contact here. So I'll show you how to configure that. So here, before I proceed to the configuration, let me show you the current setup I have here. So this is my portal just now I have configured it and a couple of pages I have added in my previous videos. So when I click the home page, you can see it is redirecting to this home page. And if you see the web page of this home, we can go to the portal management app here. So this is portal management, I'll go to the web pages and I, we are having the home page as a web page here, you can see. So this is the page it will be rendered when we click the home or when we click the uh, logo of our portal here so it will redirect to the home page so let's see what we are having in the home page when you go to the home page configuration you will see we are having one content page and this is the actual page based on the language it will be created and since uh, our portal language is english by default that is why we are having only one local uh, localized content here and this is the page which will be rendered so if you see the configuration i mean the text of this uh, page you will see is similar to that uh, it is uh, configured here uh, through the html codes and html and some uh, css code and which is rendering here you can see this is a similar code we are getting on the page here which is landed so now our requirement is that when we click i don't want to uh, render this page uh, instead i want to render my own customized web page this is the out of the box page which will come in the system but i want to render my uh, portal to the my own customized page so for that already have configured the couple of web pages here so i'm having the uh, dnlb create application web page and i'm having the uh, student list one of the web page so we are having the uh, student list yeah this is the one of the web page i have configured it so it will it will give me the list of a student uh, created in my system uh, I, I can display in the table grid if you want to see the details of this you can watch my previous video there so i'm having the two pages a student list and and create application application create page so these two pages i want to rent land as a default but this condition that it will be based on the uh, uh wave role associated to this contact so coming to the wave role here i'm having the two wave roles one is called the super user another is create application user so when this create application user wave role is assigned to my contact then i want to render by default as soon as you will click the home to this page this create application page and uh, when this wave role is not assigned to my contact let me show you my contact here so this is the contact which is logged in here to the portal so when this contact is having wave role associated so when i'm having here the uh, uh when i'm having this create application uh wave role associated to my contact then i want to default land to the uh, create application page, application create page when i don't have that role when i don't have this uh, um, create application create wave role here then i'm having only super user wave role then i want to land my default page to the uh, student list here on this web page so we'll see that one but before that let me show you what I'm having what how the page is looking when we'll go there so I'll copy the uh, partial URL of this page and try to open that one so this will be this is our uh, student list page this I want to render when I don't have the wave role associated as a create application only I have super user then I want to render on this page when I have the uh, create application uh, user assigned then I want to I want to render on the application create page on this page so let me sh show you that page also okay so it is rendering fine now the thing is uh, it should happen default like when i click the home page then by default it should redirect to that page based on the my wave role 
associated here okay so let's configure that first so how what we'll do we have to go to the our home page because that is the main page on which uh, we are redirecting to the different page right so we have to go to the uh, configuration of the home page so this is our home page and when we go to the page template so you can see it is using the default studio template here and under this page template it is using the default studio template and because of that uh, it is a uh, it is not our customized template it is the system uh, web template which is used for the default setup okay so we have to use the one of the web page that is called the home web page uh, sorry home uh, web template so if you go to the template here web template we are having the home web template we can use this web template otherwise we can use our own custom new template we can create and that web template we have to associate on this uh, uh, on this uh, page template that uh, a default studio page template so what i'll do i'll change this page to the home page here okay and uh, let me save this after saving i'll go to the home page here this is the code currently present out of the box when it was configured the, uh, the retailer portal was set up uh, then it it is coming like this when portal was set up then it, some default code was there so uh, I don't need the, this code, but still I can keep it no problem. But we have to modify the page template here, and we have to write a small liquid script, a few lines of liquid script. Uh, we will check the role condition, and then we will navigate to the particular page. But as I mentioned in the previous video of the site marker, that if you want to navigate to the some particular pages of the uh, portal, then you will configure those pages as a URL in uh, using the site marker. So let me show you the site marker what I have configured here. So I'll go to the my site markers here, and I have already configured the create application web page as one of the site marker, and then a student list also as one of the site markers. So I will be using these two site markers url uh, to redact to the particular page uh, using the uh, conditions of the wave rule associated here so i will write the liquid script for that so first of all we will check the user object if it is coming to the web portal here so here if user present user object we are having Okay, then inside this user object, we will check the. Uh, we will we will try to get the URL first because we have to redact to the particular web page URL, right? So let me open one of the create application, uh, site map. Uh, sorry, site marker configuration. So this is the name of that one. So I'll I, I I want to take the URL of this web page because I need to navigate here, right? Based on the condition, so I will I have to put into the variable of this URL. So I will use the assign and then it is create application and then it will be site markers okay this is the name then I will use another because another variable because I need to store the uh, student list also assign and then it is student list site marker and uh, I need the name of that student list site marker configuration this is it copy this name okay so I have the URLs of these those two pages are uh, stored in this object in this uh, variable object you can say and then I will check the uh, role assigned to my contact so I'll check sorry this curly braces then if user dot roles contains then we have to give the name of the uh, what role we are comparing so we are checking if the contact is having this role associated create contact create application user right so when I have this create application user as stored then by default it should go to the create application web page right so I'll check here if that name contains the if it is if it is true then we have to navigate to the uh, that page uh, create application page so for that we can use the JavaScript code and then we can use windows dot location it will redact to that uh, URL and that URL we can get from the 
a liquid uh, this one our uh, liquid variable here this one right create application so and this is object and then dot URL will give you the URL of that uh, object here of that create application page and similar to this uh, else if it is uh, not uh, I, if I don't have this role associated then as I mentioned default I want to go to the student list page here right then I mean this student list page I want to redirect so for that I will check the else condition here else okay and window dot location equals and uh, the uh, URL of that uh, student list is uh, stored here so I'll give that one dot URL and then we will close the if here okay so this is the few lines of code um, and like what we are doing we are checking the user then we are taking the application uh, URL by using the site markers configuration that name of the site marker we have taken here for the uh, create application and the student list then we are checking the user have contains this uh, uh, create application web rule associated it is having then redact to the create application page by default otherwise redact to this uh, student list here this is a small piece but uh, if you I can remove this one not need but I will keep here but it will not affect me here so I can keep the remaining code which came which came out of the box but this is the my custom uh, few lines of code which I have written under the web template of the home page I'll save it and when I'll go to the web role here so here I'm having only the super user associated so I will assign myself to the create application user here uh, sorry I have associated here now create application user so I will refresh the uh, configuration here syn uh, synchronize the configurations which we did on the web template and now let's click on the home page what will happen Now you can see it has redacted to the create application page by default. So if when you click the logo of your uh, uh, of your web, uh, portal or the home page by default, it is going to the my custom page rather than the home page which was uh, which was already configured in the out of the box setup. So it is re redacting to the my particular page. Now when I remove the particular web role here, this application here, then it will go to the my uh, else condition here. So what is that? It is student list here. So I'll save that with contact here, save, and then refresh the configuration here again. Okay, and then click on the home page. And now you can see it is by default, it is redacting to, to my uh, student list page. So this is how uh, you can use the uh, uh, home uh, home page as a uh, as a web template to read that with the particular uh, landing page but uh, in the landing page you will have some uh, good dashboard where you will have the all the details or snapshot of your all uh, data and that will be your default landing page when you somebody log into your portal and you will display the uh, current status of your records in one single page so based on the what uh, what user has login and what privilege is having on the portal based on that you will be landing some users to the particular pages and that is how you can configure using the uh, some uh, some liquid script and using the site ma uh, site marker configurations and window dot location using that url so if you have any questions understand understanding it please let me know and thank you for watching this video guys